Hello everyone, Miss G here. This week, week seven, we learned how to put together a payroll in Excel. So, download your spreadsheet from Canvas once you do that, okay? Um, the first tab will have your instructions. The demo tab is where we're going to start. You can pause this video as many times as you want to keep up with what I am doing. So we're going to multiply the hourly wage times the hours worked to get the regular pay. So activate cell G5. And you know you're activated G5 when you see G5 in the name box or when you see this green box around the cell G5. Column G, row 5. Okay? And every formula begins with the equal sign. So we're going to type equal sum open paren, which is shift 9. You're going to click on the hourly wage, times, which is shift 8, the hours work, and then you're going to press enter on your keyboard. Once you have the result, you're going to go back into your result, and what you're going to do is look for that little green box right there, put your mouse on top of it, left click your mouse and hold, and Scroll all the way down to fill handle in all the other results. Okay? Practice that as many times as you need to. Now we're going to fill in the overtime rate. So the overtime rate is the hourly rate times one and a half because they're working a time and a half. If they were working double time, it would be the hourly rate times two because it's double time. Okay, so it's equal sum, open for rent. Click on the hourly wage times shift eight, 1.5, enter. Okay, it gives you the result. Click right into the result. Look for that um, green box, put your mouse on it. Once your mouse is there, you have a little black cross and just scroll right on down to fill in the rest of the results. Okay, easy, right? Overtime pay. To calculate overtime pay, what you're going to do is you're going to take the overtime hours times your overtime rate. Equal sum. Open paren. You click on your overtime hours for that particular person times, which is shift 8, their, their overtime rate and press enter. Go up to your result, look for that green box and fill handle it down. Okay. Now your gross pay is your um, regular pay plus your overtime pay. So equal sum open paren. The regular pay of the first person plus. Now you can hold the control down. That's what I like to do. Or you can use the plus sign and then click on overtime pay. Yep, I clicked twice, so I only want it once. So I have to take that out and just press enter. Gives you the result. Click back into your result and then fill handle it down. Okay. Now for the totals, you're going to sum up each column. The easiest way to sum each column is to go to the editing group and click right on your sum function. So I'm clicking on it and I'm pressing enter. Once I have the first answer, what I can do is just fill handle it right across. I don't have to keep doing that. And it gives me the correct answer. So if I click here in cell H17, what I can do is go to the formula bar and click there to see what it added up. And that's correct. All right? So I'm clicking Escape to get out of that. Now what I want to do is for the average of the gross pay. See, it says average, and then it says gross pay. I want the average of this gross pay, not including this uh, total. Okay, so I'm going to go, click where I want my result to be. Then I'm going to go to my editing group, and I'm going to click on the auto sum, and I'm going to click average. And it highlights everything above. But what we want to do is left click and hold the mouse down, and then scroll right down on gross pay. And then release the mouse and press enter. 
and if I click back where my result is and go to the formula bar, I can see that I have the average of the gross pay, which is $494.37. All right. Now, one last concept. Can we color the tabs and rename the tabs? So, yes, we can. The tab name right now is Demo. I'm going to name this my last name. Okay, so I'm going to click on the tab. I'm going to right click on the tab. I'm sorry. Right click on the tab and click rename. And then I'm going to call it Scott. And then I'm going to click out in my spreadsheet. And you see I renamed it Scott. Now what I'm going to do is right click on it. And I'm going to color it. So you go to tab color. And you can color it. I'm going to color it uh, red for now. And you can see if I click on you try if that tab is red. Okay. So practice these concepts and then finish the rest of the sheet when you try the average, okay, and the independent study. And now you have a large payroll, so you want to make sure you can do that. Then you have instructions again, and then you have a challenge, so make sure you finish this. And then you have a new challenge, and this, if you, call, if you think you are an advanced Excel user, do the new challenge if you feel that you're not. A um, advanced Excel user then don't try this challenge just go to shortcut keys okay and then you're gonna click on this little arrow and you're going to I'll show you how to do this demo in class and the budget in class but that is what we cover today so you have a great day I'll see you in the next class bye bye